Hi, and welcome back to how to bulk load Amazon Redshift with StreamSets Data Collector. This is the second part in a two-part series on using StreamSets as a way to accelerate loading data into Amazon Redshift. Now in this screencast, we're gonna go over how to import a template pipeline, configure it for your environment, and then run it. It is meant to accompany, excuse me, accompany some written instructions and sample files. So I'm gonna assume that you have access to those as you're watching it. Let's start off by importing the pipeline. We'll browse for the JSON file that you downloaded and run import. From there, we'll come into the editor. Now at this point, we need to make some configuration changes for your environment. Let's start with the pipeline global parameters and we can reach that here from this tab. From here, we're going to need to update at least three parameters, our ID, secret, and bucket. I'm going to gray out the areas on my environment, but you'll need to put those in for your environment. Now, if you change the schema from the default, you'll need to change that as well. From there, we need to go into each stage and modify some settings for your environment. First, let's start with the source. Hopefully, as expected, you need to point it at your MySQL instance. So update this appropriately. Second, you'll need to make the credential changes, again, appropriate for your environment. Pretty straightforward, right? Next, let's move on to our S3 stage, and this is where we're, we are writing our files to S3 before we copy them into Redshift. Here, we'll need to configure, actually, just need to verify something because we're using the global parameters that we already set, but you'll want to make sure that you've got your region set appropriately here. By default, in the template pipeline, it's going to be set to East 1, so make sure that that works for whatever wherever you created the bucket. All right, we're moving right along. Finally, we're going to come over to the JDBC executor, which calls the copy commands in Redshift. Here, like our, our, like our source, excuse me, we'll need to update our connection string as well as our credentials. And that's it. With this configuration changes in mind, we'll be able to start this baby up. Now, depending on your environment, it might take a few seconds or maybe even up to 20. But eventually, you'll start to see data flow through, as we're seeing here in the lower left. StreamSets provides all kinds of metrics around how data is flowing in. Let's go over to our SQL Workbench and we'll run a query to make sure everything is working as expected. For example, let's make sure we've got some data in the employee table. So when we run a query, we are starting to get data. Well, this is great. It's working. Now, further, further points that you might be interested in is perhaps running a snapshot where you can take a look at data as it's flowing through. I'll do that now. It should just take a few seconds. And if we view the snapshot, we'll be able to see data as it's flowing through our environment and as it's changed. For example, when we change the, the date format here, we get out of preview. Also, you might be interested in changing the configuration of this pipeline, maybe adding some more stages, things like maybe to mask sensitive data. I'll stop the pipeline and show you that a little bit more in detail here. So perhaps we might want to add a field masker and we can do that here. But I'll leave that as an exercise up to you. For now, I just wanted to show you how you can configure the sample pipeline and verify it with SQL Workbench. Hope this helps and please leave any comments or questions for in whatever format you've been watching this video. Thanks and good luck.